How you feeling, Jamo? Let's challenge ourselves, right? Like, yeah. there's a reason why we're doing these drills. I know they probably suck for you guys, but we're getting out of our comfort zone. The Utah Grizzlies are back on the ice and coming off of a historically successful season, expectations are high. Utah Grizzlies head coach, Ryan Kanasiewicz. Expectations here will always remain high and we'll continue to find a way. I think everyone, you know, is ready to uh, put in a season similar to like what we had last year. I think that's the, uh, the, the bare minimum. We want to be our best, right? We got a good team. Uh, I think we expect a lot of ourselves and uh, Ryan said day one, we're going to push ourselves in practice and then the game comes easy, so. Fitzy, Jamo, and the rest of the Utah Grizzlies knew what to expect. A lot of skating, fast skating, all designed to accomplish one goal. Build the stamina it takes to outpace and outwork the opposition, who will undoubtedly have a target on the Utah Grizzlies' back. A new, old face was back in the locker room on Friday morning. Ben Tardif, fresh off a training camp with the Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche, is back in Salt Lake City and is motivated for a return to the National Hockey League. I would be lying if I'd say that it's easy, it's never easy, but when you're at the rink and when you're with the boys, I think it gets a lot easier. Yeah. And the coaching staff's pretty nice, so I think being here is makes it easier. Tardif is not the only familiar face back at the Maverick Center. Tyler Penner has returned from AHL camp with the Manitoba Moose, and it was not hard to see that everyone was happy to have Pens back in the room. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Pens. Hey, hey Jax. How's your summer? How's yours? Good. Yeah. yeah, it was fun out there. Yeah. It's a good experience. It's good to be back. I think everyone that plays a sport loves loves to win. It's the spirit of competition, but. Winning is especially important when you're with a, a group of guys that you enjoy playing with as well. So it's like your family is doing well. So I think winning will be fun. Hopefully we have a good season here and uh, I'm excited to get things going. With the band back together, it was time to head to Boise to take on the rival Idaho Steelheads in a two game preseason series. CHL is a blue-collar league. Everyone lends a hand. The gear gets loaded on the bus, the Grizzlies load up their plates for lunch, grab a pillow and a blanket, and hit the road for the five-hour ride up to Idaho Central Arena.
Just like that, the hockey season has begun, and the Utah Grizzlies come out flying in Boise. Fast pace, energetic, and tenacious in the first period. Dakota Raby opened the scoring with a power play goal to make it 1-0. Andrew Nielsen would add another in the third period, but ultimately, a lackluster second would undo the Grizzlies. The Steelheads won the game 3-2, not what Ryan Kanasiewicz had in mind tonight. <laughs> Tardiff available, Kanasiewicz has more options for game two, as well as expectations. He'll play tonight. Um, yeah, we, we'll insert a few, four penner, Zekos, uh, forward group should be a little stronger tonight. Um, so I expect them to, to really push the pace, especially on this Olympic sheet, and you know, hopefully get these fans, fans buzzing here. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. Huh? Is that from Luke? Seven? That's uh, that comics. Brand new. That's a great joke. Oh, that's wrong. Shirts are wrong. Shirts are wrong. You guys fucking say tonight, huh? Yeah. Alright, yeah. our fucking hometown here. Let's go. Home crowd here. Back to barn out there, boys, huh? Let's Go here, 60 fucking minutes, 60 miles, we're gonna fucking run these guys out of the fucking building and we're gonna have a hell of a fucking night. What do you got for us, Stronger, huh? Hey! hey, hey, hey. Alright boys, give me one clap after each guy here. Up front, we got Tars, Fizey, Betsy, on the back end we got Macker, Marty, and in the pipes we got G Money Man. It's time to hit the ice, and the Utah Grizzlies are looking for a better result. Ben Tardiff will be expected to inject speed and energy into the lineup. I know, I know his name. I don't know. I know.
The Weber County Ice Sheet is a long way from an ECHL arena. The surface is Olympic size. That means it's a significantly larger piece of ice. As for the walk to the bench, it's nice and cozy. As expected, Ben Tardif is leading the line for the Utah Grizzlies. His speed and ability are clear from his very first shift. Tardif and the rest of the club grind their way through the first, but the result is the same. The Steelheads lead 1-0 and nobody is happy about it. Okay, what we there? Soft. Yeah, way too fucking soft, right? Especially in our fucking D zone, like, we're just fishing, okay? Like, if we want to be assertive and fucking close these battles down, then we're going to get out of our zone, okay? You need to fucking, like, I know it's preseason, and I said it yesterday, we need to fucking ramp the intensity up. Right? Let's not, this is a f***ing dress rehearsal for us. Let's f***ing take this seriously, okay, and f***ing take over this game. Uh, we've got a minute left on the kill. We've got uh, Penner and Fitzy going to start it off. Yeah, Marty, Marty Mack on the back end. <coughs> Let's f***ing go. Right. 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 The game ends with another Idaho Steelheads victory, 5-2, including an empty net goal for Idaho in the game's waning moments. Not the result we wanted this weekend, but take some lessons out of it. The preseason is over, and while games were lost and expectations were left unmet, a new season is upon us. The dreams born on frozen ponds and junior rinks. The same dreams that grew larger than life during long car rides on cold mornings and never-ending bus trips across the provinces of the frozen north remain alive and well. 
with names like Tardif, Pfizer and Betts, Clerman and McDonald, the Utah Grizzlies know all of their goals for the season are within reach. They simply have to meet expectations, however steep they may be.